So yes, this is one of our Airbnb properties that we're managing, we're planning on getting. Hi everyone, it's Aaron from Life Excel and I'm back with another video, but today I have something uh, special in store for you. So usually my channel is all about travel and highlighting the best places around the world, but today I'm going to let you in on the business side of my life and my little business venture. So today I'm going to take you on a tour of my serviced accommodation, which you can find on Airbnb, Booking.com, uh, Verbo, a few different channels. So this is a place that we've totally kitted out and we put it on these websites so people can have short stays in them so uh yeah come with me on a tour one thing that's funny is i'm always known as the laptop guy because i'm always carrying my laptop around genuinely my life is on this and it's, you know i feel very comfortable having my laptop with me i know it sounds strange but most of what i do probably 90 percent of it is based on the laptop so uh yeah i also had a bit of bad luck this week where i dropped my apple watch and now it's totally smashed and it doesn't come on, so I'll need to get that fixed at some point. <sighs> Bad luck. Uh, welcome to our serviced accommodation. So this is a business that we recently got involved in because it's so lucrative and it's so passive. So what is service accommodation all about? Or people in the States call it Airbnb arbitrage. So we obviously have landlords that have uh, loads of property across city centers, town centers in very uh, prime locations. So what we do is we take on the property from our landlord, we'll pay the landlord whatever they want. So for example, let's say they want 700 pounds a month and they're happy with that. We'll then take that property on, guarantee them 700 pounds a month, kit out the property, which I'll show you in a second, list it on the likes of booking.com, Airbnb, uh, verbal and then we'll obviously earn money through that avenue so once the landlord is paid their seven or eight hundred pounds a month whatever we earn on top of that is left just for us so it's a very lucrative business model because for not having to purchase property and then refurb it and then list it where the margin will be so small instead we're taking existing properties paying the landlords what they want and then obviously where earning money off the top so it's very lucrative it's been done for years and years more so in the past three or four years people have really uh, started to take this model on i mean there's companies out there that have 50 60 70 properties that they're managing every single month and yes let me show you around the property actually i think that'll be a good idea mind some of the mess we are having a deep clean and a mass clear out so there's loads of boxes everywhere but uh yeah come with me so as soon as you enter the property you have a lovely couch or sofa depending on where you're from we've got a uh, netflix prime and all the main streaming services of course we've got ambient lighting we done all this decor ourselves so these are little things that we had to purchase and sort out um yes we've got a dining table over there my my juice cart and that's one of the best juices that you can probably buy and it's so so cheap um we've got aircon that was already in there so we didn't actually have to purchase that the landlord had it in there we've got a boiler in there we've got all the plates and cutlery and everything here working gas uh we have champagne glasses and normal glasses we've got more stuff over here and then in case people want to start cooking we've also got cooking utensils for them here that actually needs a clean out uh right let's take you on a tour of the bedrooms very quickly here we go so of course that needs cleaning this is what we've got going on so we've got a nice yellow and a gray color theme these are ready for a guest anyway this is what the room looks like in here and then you might be thinking what is behind those doors let me show you here we go <laughs> we have hiya we have a bathroom so we have a standing shower it's a rainfall shower and it's got the side parts as well so you can have a shower both ways if you want we've Obviously everything comes with the shampoos and the toiletries. Uh, beautiful toilet there, so on and so forth. Candles, toilet rolls in there. So yes, this is one of our Airbnb properties that we're managing. We're planning on getting a few more moving forward. We've already secured them to be honest. We just need to take some time out to kit them out and uh, get them ready for Airbnb, booking.com and Verbal. <sighs> so relaxing. 
So you might be thinking to yourself, well, I understand that you've got service accommodation and that you rent it out on Airbnb and all these other channels, but how much money can you actually make? So according to AirDNA, which is a statistical data company that references a lot of data points from Airbnb, 21 days out of the month, you should be booked. Of course, that's dependent upon location, your service, your reviews, your listing, um, you know, what kind of amenities you have nearby, where you're located. There's so many factors. As long as you've got most of them covered, you should be seeing some good level of booking. So this one right here rents out between £80 and £105. The reason why there's a range is because our automated system that I was telling you about will gauge supply and demand and it will move the prices accordingly, which is called dynamic prices. So for example, let's say it's a Monday and there aren't many bookings going on our software will lower the prices down to 80 to try to get the booking in. I mean, yes, we're making less profit, but as long as the booking's coming in, we can get a review. The more reviews we get in, the more popular our property will be. And the reason why it can go up to 100 plus is because when there's events nearby or our area is in demand, it will increase the prices because we're more likely to secure a booking. So, the service accommodation route is absolutely incredible as a uh, income earner if you're willing to put some time and effort into it. Whenever you take on a property, it should take you around five or six weeks to get it done from A to Z. So A being walking in, refurbishing the whole property, purchasing whatever you need to purchase, uh, get the photos taken, media taken, uh, get the listing set up, get them integrated, and also get your cleaning teams in place and whatever uh, people that you have involved in your project and like i said the beauty of this is it can be automated not 100 percent of it but certainly 80 percent of it can be automated so let me work through a workflow with you so john goes ahead and books a stay at our accommodation john will receive a message uh, via sms which is totally automated saying hi thank you for booking we're looking forward to having you and we'll send you further check-in instructions towards your booking. So two days prior to John's booking, our guest will receive another text to say your check-in date is closer, you know, be prepared, be ready. Then a day before your check-in, you'll receive an, uh, an SMS again with your check-in instructions. For example, the property is located here. This is your check-in time. This is how you find the key. This is the code to get in. That will be sent. And then when the guest has checked in, they'll receive another text after four hours to say, is everything okay? Do you need anything? Let us know. This is all automated. Then a day before their checkout, or sorry, 18 hours before their checkout, they'll get another text to say, hey, look, your time is getting you know near to check out, whether it's a two day stay, five day stay, 18 hours before the checkout, they'll get that message to say, close all the windows, turn the gas off, turn the heating off, turn the TV off or whatever checking instructions that you have. So that is automated all the way until John checks out, he's gone home, you've been paid, you've been left a review and you didn't have to manually manage that guest. You never met the guest, you never cleaned yourself. You never text them or message them yourself. You never contacted them yourself. It was an automated system. And that's the key here. That's why service accommodation, when done correctly, is very powerful. How long will this last? I don't know, because recently there were some laws passed in London to avoid these types of businesses whereby guests could only stay or, or put their property on the market for a certain amount of time. So before, you know, you could probably have a guest stay for a year or six months, but London, they've changed the rules where a guest can only stay up to X amount. Fair or unfair, I'll let you decide that. But yes, if you are planning on getting involved with service accommodation, definitely do your research, have a look on Google. There's loads of resources. YouTube's a great resource as well. And uh, yes, I hope this video has shown you a bit of a uh, insight really. But uh, yeah, I really, I really wanted to show you guys a day in my life, to be honest. I mean, it's not all travel and YouTube. It is a lot of business, a lot of meetings, a lot of getting things over the line. So I think what I'm going to do now is make myself a coffee. If you've ever had one of these, they're absolutely amazing. They're three in one. It's got the milk, sugar, and the coffee in there already, and they taste so good. So definitely try them out. Yes, make myself a coffee, put Netflix on, kick back, chill enjoy my service accommodation for a while before the bookings start flowing in and then uh yeah we'll head off home but guys i appreciate you watching the video and i uh, hope you took some value from it if you've got any questions or you'd like to know something just drop it in the comments below and i'll be sure to respond to you for now
I'm going to enjoy my coffee.